Hey, what's going on guys? This is Wagley. Uh, here for the arms dealer of Grandmaster Nightfall this week. I ran this with LFG people. Um, two warlocks here, one tight end. I was controversial hold, the other guy was a well. The tight end was running some type of sentinel. Honestly, this is the easiest Grandmaster Nightfall that there is. So you can run whatever you want. Anything will work here. There's not a specific loadout I would recommend besides probably a Controverse Warlock or two or three. Um, this first part, break those void shields. This guy should not have jumped up there on the Unstoppable. The barrier lit him up. Uh, you do kill the Unstoppable first. Then you can go for the barrier. Here I was waiting for my grenade to recharge before I could kill that incendior. Um, so we take out the barrier first and then while my grenade finishes here, I'm going to take out this guy. Uh, I think one or both of those guys had the unstoppable. I was running a scout rifle here with my Arianas just because there's so much range on this map. That is something I would recommend here, having just one person roll with unstoppable and then other people can use either sniper rifles or scout rifles for the range. Once you're outside here, always take out the ship first. Uh, same with the boss fight, you will want to prioritize ships. And then methodically clear out adds, try to take out snipers anytime you have uh, vision on them. And then this first outside bit is pretty straightforward and pretty easy. out of the way. Head for that solar fuel cell. pick up the solar flare, uh, I recommend you drop it once you get off this ledge right here. Dogs will come out and kill them with a grenade or you're shooting them with a primary, but don't do what this guy did here. He rushes forward, he's not even aware that there's a barrier there. I can't believe he didn't die right there, but this dog gets him. You want to stay back, kill the dogs. That barrier is going to drop down in front of you, so you can team shot him right here kill him, that will leave the one other barrier up. Um, but before you go chase the second barrier, you're going to want to prioritize the ship that is flying around. Uh, right now it's kind of on the right side there, but we'll go back to the left side. Hit the ship first. After you take out the ship and you're going to go for the second barrier, I would send one or two people to the right side here uh, to flank them and then one other person can just hop up on the ledge, you know, the normal way that you would go. This way you split up, someone can take his aggro and then it's much easier to gang up on this guy without anyone dying. You are going to want to take out these dogs before you go for the kill on the barrier just to make your life easier. And then once you kill this guy, then you can dunk 
the orb, and then you'll want to just stay back until the rest of the ads have spawned out of the doorway and up on the ramp. We did it! And we didn't blow up! Yeah, not blowing up is as good as you can hope for sometimes. Way to reach for the stars. Lieutenants aren't messing around. Think we've seen the last of them? He's bound to have more. Insecure men tend to surround themselves with others like them. Cade, anything to add? Nope, she's totally right, which is why I work alone. When you're making your way outside here, um, you don't want to get on your Spiro right away because one shotgun from any legionary will blow you up and just die. So you want to kill the couple of Cabal that jump up right in front of you. So there's the first one. Another one jumps up a couple of seconds later. There's a ship. I think there's actually a couple of ships here you can take out. There's a bunch of Fallen at the back of the ramp. And the Fallen have blue shields, arc shields here. Um, honestly, you can skip all of the stuff. You don't need to kill it unless you want points, but since they don't matter, we're gonna skip most of the stuff. You'll see me here throw a nade on those guys, because they're just right there, and there's a sniper obviously right in front of me, so you're gonna to wanna to kill him. There's only one champion, and that's the barrier at the end of the ramp. We do kill him, because one, I want platinum rewards, and two, it's good to have an extra revive, you never know what's gonna happen. This guy is pretty easy to kill once you clean up the sniper there gang up on him and then you can Sparrow safely to the next section. Back into the ship we go. We're coming for you, Zahn. He's got a lot to answer for. Be thorough. No sign of Once you're in here, uh, it is good to have one person go to the right like Nefarious did. That helps split up the aggro just in case something happens. The easiest way to take down this tank is to shoot its legs. The little orange solar shit coming out of its feet. Um, once you blow up those, it turns blue and it does just under half the damage to the tank. I like to peek out of this corner so it looks like the tank can't actually see you, but the AOE damage, it feels like in Grandmaster, just got up through the roof on that tank. Um, so just be very careful with that. Peaking I think leg those two, I might corners. die a third time here to that tank blast. Um, but anyway, just be mindful of that blast. It is good to separate a little bit just so it doesn't take out your whole team at the same time. the feet. If you don't know, shoot the feet of the tank. The orange shit. Then, and then the front right. Yeah, there we go. That's it. Once you kill the tank, you can push up and see me jump up on this platform. And that causes the legionaries and incendiaries and the one unstoppable to group up on the other side. So it's a pretty easy way to kill a whole bunch of them. 
What you want to do here is kill all the minor adds, so the legionaries and incendiaries, before you kill this unstoppable, which will get closer to you. You're going to want to keep your distance here because at a certain point, once you're close enough, the two barriers up on the top shelf, they will shoot their missiles down on you. So you'll want to kill the unstoppable and these red bars so from distance before you push up on the two barriers. Oh shit, there's another one right behind you. I see it. Alright, I killed I killed them. I killed them. And stop the bulls bottom mid. He's moving up, you can get L Dog me with the dresses. I killed them. And then un stun that's unstoppable, get this unstoppable first turn. To deal with the two barriers, you're going to want to split up. Um, you can have one or two people go where I'm going, uh, so which is up behind the two barriers. I'm communicating right now that those guys should stand on that tank behind them, although it seems like they misinterpreted it and went a little bit further up, so where the barriers can still shoot them. Anyway, uh, the person in the flank doesn't have the aggro here, which is me, so I'm putting a grenade on them. Break the shield that's closest to my teammates, which is furthest from me. In fact, I just broke both. And then I decided super. This is a great place for you to burn a super, a Nova Bomb, if you have it. It cleans them up pretty well. These unstoppables, just let them come out. Just don't get hit by the tank. Oh, come on. Another one. Yeah, so you as you heard me call out to my teammates, you should let the unstoppables come out. They'll chase you. It's pretty easy to isolate them, kill them once they come out. I would have stood a little bit closer and thrown a nade on the phalanxes when they spawned, but I wanted to stand in a position where my teammates could put down the well, because right here, the tank can't actually kill you. Incidentally, also, the well just ended about 17 seconds early. We got killed somehow, and I don't know how those phalanxes ended up getting behind us. It doesn't really make sense, but anyway, that's some weird random stuff that happened. You want to pull back um, and the whole time maintain cover from the tank. Again, the AoE is crazy. You will actually see me die, I think, right here. Even though I'm behind the cover and the tank can't see me directly, it will still kill me from behind the cover just from the splash damage. Right there. Anyway, just be mindful of that. You won't want to stack here, uh, but you will want to keep your distance as you take care of these three unstoppables and just take your time working them down.
Once you kill the three unstoppables, then you can work on the tank. Where I'm standing, which is where we initially dropped that well when the unstoppables came out, this is the best place to take down the tank. The tank can't hit you here, um, as the pillar is right in front of it, blocking its view, but you can see its feet. So you shoot its feet, it'll turn blue after enough damage, and do a ton of damage to the tank. So just take it down slowly but surely from a distance and then you can push forward. No, I'm gonna get the ship first, 100%. Did I kill him? Going for you. It will help during the dog phase. In this next section here, we want to split up. You can send one or two people down low, and then someone can jump up here just to isolate the enemies and the aggro on you. Um, take down the turrets, kill the legionaries. You don't need to worry about the phalanxes that are standing right under the bridge right away because there's an unstoppable. Uh, that will rush. So that was a wanted guy. My teammates call out that there's an unstoppable on them, so I need to go back and help them. I call out how Ben's right there. So deal with the unstoppable first together, and then you can push up on the phalanxes and the two barriers afterwards. For the two barriers, uh, you will want to isolate them. Before you do that though, of course, you have to clear out the turrets and as many of the lesser enemies as you can. So there's a legionary that's still on the bridge across that uh, I don't kill right away. But there's also a handful of legionaries down in the pit by the barrier champions. You want to kill them so they don't throw grenades on you constantly and disrupt you. Once you do that, you just kind of pick one of the barriers, um, whatever one typically throws its shield up first, and then that's a great place to use super. You'll get it back when you need it by the time the boss fight starts, so you don't need to worry about it. And then once you kill the one barrier, you can easily isolate um, and kill the second barrier before you clean up the rest of this room and you're on the way to the boss fight.
Yeah, okay, let me call this stuff out. Alright, okay, so there's four turrets here. Kill the four turrets before you do any damage on boss. Don't burn your super right away. We can get him down to half of the first bar before we can start nuking him, because that's when he starts moving. It's half of the first bar. We're here. End of the line for you, Zon. Watch your six. And your twelve. You know what? Just, just be careful. That's all the turrets. So half of the first bar, and then he'll start moving. So you can just do a little damage now with your guns. You don't need to use your heavy yet. Yeah, it's still there. Yeah, he's moving. So once the boss moves and jumps up to the tower, you want to make sure that he puts his bubble up. That way he won't attack you, he won't snipe you while you're working. So if you don't do enough damage, that bubble won't be up. You need to make sure it is up. I would recommend after that coming to this corner of the map and you want to prioritize that ship because it's got the best vantage point on your team and it will keep harassing you. So I told our guy to drop his well right there to keep us alive. Prioritize ship and then you can focus on the rest of the ads and the Symphorians. You want to kill all the adds before you pick up the solar flare, and also in this case before you pick up the team. Solar gun. Second last guy well done. Guardian down. That's it. So, so uh, once you've cleared the airfield here, there, be it's time to pick up the solar flare. You want to pick it up, like but you don't need to dunk it right away. In fact, you just pick it up and drop it immediately and just let it disappear. What happens is it's going to spawn, I believe, six more ads. It could be nine. There's three on the plate to dunk it, and then there's... I think three, could, could be six other ones um, as well. So you want to just take your time here, there's no rush, just kill all the rest of the legionaries and the one centurion that spawns before you dump your solar flare. Don't do it, don't dunk it yet, we still got legionaries. going to drop down to right in front of us on this ramp. After I do a little bit of damage, we'll want to retreat back to where l Dog is, below that bed. As you just heard me call it to the team, boss is going to drop right here. He puts down a couple of turrets. I was hoping he was going to stay there a little bit longer so that Nova Bomb would hit him, um, but hit the dogs instead. I don't think it really did much damage to the boss at all. Anyway, when those dogs do come out, where I'm standing back here, underneath the first tower he went up, this is going to be your safest place because the boss, if he doesn't move, like go to the next tower like he's not doing, he'll just stand right there and he can't see you, but the dogs will beeline straight to you and it's pretty easy um, to pick them up or pick them out in a line as they run at you 
really, so really miss again you know. this is a good place to stay keep your distance boss won't snipe you and you'll be able to deal with dogs pretty easily Okay, boss is not going to have the bubble over him when he jumps up that tower, so we need to make sure that we shoot him right now, so that he doesn't save us. They're good. Good job. Alright, this is, this is still a good corner. That ship is coming. Again, prioritize ship. Yeah, this, yeah, you can put down. Alright, so as I called out to my teammates, you want to prioritize that ship because it will keep pestering you and it will be able to hit you from nearly anywhere on the map. Stay in this corner. It's a safe corner. It's a great place to throw down a well if you have one. You can just clean up the enemies one by one. It's very safe now without the ship and with the well down. Um, and then once you kill them and you go to the solar flares, you solar flare, sorry, you're going to want to pick it up and drop it right away to spawn the enemies once again and kill everything on the map before you deposit the flare. All right, I'm pulling the flare. There's going to be six ads here. Kill them before we dump this. I'm going to it. Got the All right, so this is what's going to happen. After we dunk this orb, let me just um, oh, yeah, we'll just kill Well, I'm going to kill these guys before we dunk it, so I can show you on the map what happens. All right, so once you dunk it here, all this shit will catch on fire. The boss is going to take about maybe seven seconds and he's going to land right here in the middle. I'm going to throw my Nova bomb on him. Chances are it's not going to kill him, but snipers are going to come out. It's going to be one sniper for each door. Um, I would recommend, like, you first have to start here under the plate because the plate will catch on fire, but then you can jump up kill the two snipers on this side. I will go to the other side and kill the snipers there. And then we're more free to run around while the boss chases us. And then at some point there will be four more snipers. And I'll call that out. But boss will drop down, I'll nuke them, snipers will spawn. Take care of the snipers. And then that is GG. Nice. Yeah, so we can dunk that now. We got the bomb. That will help. Snipers are coming out. Snipers are here. I got this other sniper. So you might have remembered me saying I get the snipers on the far side. Well, I help with the snipers on the snare side first before I run over and get the far side snipers. This way, splitting up as well helps prevent the boss from killing both of you at the same time or from the snipers from looking at all of you at the same time. Uh, by me coming over here, it allows my teammate to get the revive as well. I got well. the snipers. 
So when I turn around behind me, I notice that more snipers spawned. This is the last thing that happens in the boss encounter. Once you do a certain amount of damage again, six more snipers will spawn. Two out of each door, um, back where those first four were. And then there's two more on the gangplank in the middle, uh, where the boss starts out, or where he also runs between the first and second tower once he jumps down. So again, focus on the snipers. And then once you do that, there's no more ads. So you can just focus on the boss and then nuke him from there. I got him. All right, all snipers are dead. All ads are gone now. Just the boss. So we can do some. He's got a well, you can throw it down. Rocks before too long. Great work. You ever been hit with a rock? Don't